Hey everybody, Peter Freddy Freddy here. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Play uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Uh, before we get started here, I don't know why Kirby's green. Is just change the color of Kirby because in the original you can only be the pink one, and the green one was reserved for multiplayer only. Okay. I guess it's just a thing it can have on the, on the title screen. Uh, here we are, Onion Ocean. So the last episode is popping off right now, which is crazy. I never even expected even to get, uh, you know, as far as it did, honestly. Yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for like 64 current views, I think. It's a very high 60s number, I know that. I think it's like 66, 64. Something like that at the time of this recording, of course. Uh, I never thought I would get that far with this, with just one episode of this series, but you guys liked it, so here I am for the next episode. So, uh, if you guys are watching this, you'll probably be seeing on a coffee early, one month for me. And the reason why I do that is because uh, it's just kind of a thing that creators do where they usually host stuff for viewers early if they subscribe to their services like Patreon or Coffee. So I wanna do that too. <clears throat> but don't worry, like I won't be locking a lot of my content behind that. Uh and even then I do like I will like have like a couple of times where they just get put to YouTube first. Like, uh, episode one was uploaded to YouTube first. Just to kind of, like, get a trial run to see if this would, if, you know, it would be really worth continuing. Uh, so we have these exploding coconuts, I think. And we have the ice abilities now. Um, ice is a really fun power-up. It's... Like water, but better. So, like water, we can oh, we can skate across the heat. We can launch it just like that. Really neat stuff. Uh, so ice does have a so, uh, a spot in my heart as being one of my favorite abilities because of its ability that it has. I keep losing my abilities today. I don't know why. Now my arms are freaking killing me. But, uh... So I do guys appreciate you guys helping me do numbers on that one episode, the very first episode. Um... And I'll eventually be getting around to doing some more content. One of my next content, I'll be going to uh, Coffee, if you guys are watching. Still watching the video. Next uh, uh, content to go to coffee will be um, uploads of the RPG. I do have some videos I want specifically to keep to that. And the reason is just because uh, I've been creating the series. I've been working. I've been grinding out the RPG. And I want to, like, have an excuse to talk about it. So what better way than, you know, have some uploads on it. But as far as, like, my other series, like, cartridges goes, going at the cartridges goes, uh, I will begin development of the next episode after I do some work on the next, uh, on the first RPG video I have going. So I'm not sure how much of the game we're going to do tonight. I'm thinking about doing all of Onion Ocean and then maybe taking a break. Or I might... Uh, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling and how long the video is because I don't want to really want to... Well, I could also just take up most of the content run within uh, the bonus mini game section because I do have to do all that bonus content as well. I don't know, I'll decide after any notion, depends on how long it takes me, honestly. How 
tired I'm feeling because it's about um, butthole. Here we go, tornado. Thought there was something up there. I was mistaken. There's a magnum. Oh, that's another really neat ability they added in this game. Well, they didn't add it in this game, they added it to this version. Mecha. You can't even use Mecha when you're in the water, but you have your top ability. Oh yeah, you have Endless Flight while well, you have Mecha too. I think it might be Endless. I haven't really tested the limits on it. Yeah, it's endless. Because when you have your normal flight, you can only go for so long before Kirby has to stop. Breathe. There's another ability right there that was Spear you could have gotten, but let's play with Mecha for a little bit. We'll do Spear later. And I haven't even encountered the first, uh, gear yet. Whatever it's called. Forgive me. Uh, it's power spear. Or some sort of spear. I don't <laughs> I played it yet yeah, last night and I already forgot everything. Well, not exactly last night, last night, because... I'm recording this on the end of Tuesday going into Wednesday. Okay, so... Oh! There we go. This should be the first one. If it's not the first one, then, uh... Shoot. Let's go back. Uh... Here we go. Yep, this is the first one. Cool. So, if you can tell my gameplay looking kind of like odd, it's because I'm using the D-pad on my controller right now. Because the game originally came out on the Wii and you had to use the D-pad. They didn't have controller compatibilities like the Switch does. The Switch version does. Ah, Gordo! Not the uh, character from... I think it was the character from Lizzie McGuire. It's been years since I've seen Lizzie McGuire, so I don't know. Um, speaking of old shows, I was watching somebody's video last, yes, last night on YouTube about uh, an old show on WWE Network called Camp WWE. And then he also mentioned shows like Holy Foley. In total divas. Oh, cool! We got snowball. But uh, thing about holy foley. I just kind of wonder if they'd ever like consider trying to do something like that again. Because Mick Foley is one of my favorite old school wrestlers. Between him and uh, Undertaker. Well, it's a bit more Undertaker than Folio. I do think Folio was really cool. I mean, the man got thrown off the hell in a cell, for Christ's sake. And that's one thing that WWE always references, it seems like. Like that time that Undertaker and Shane McMahon fought each other and Shane McMahon jumped off the hell in a cell. I think they mentioned that thing about when Taker threw Foley off of there. Taker also chokeslammed Rikishi off the Hell in a Cell. I remember that. That was pretty epic. I wasn't there to see it, and I wasn't even alive. I might have been alive at that time, but not old enough to like probably watch and understand what's going on. 
because I was born in 1997. I learned a lot about my wrestling history, usually through YouTube. Sometimes Paul. Go through here. Alright, let's go back up here real quick. So, you can actually think you can drop. Yeah, you can drop your specials like that by pressing your minus or holding down uh, Y long enough for it to disappear. But you don't get any of your time back. I just now figured that out. I just tested that to see if it would work, and it does. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like, as far as the bonus videos for Kirby, uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe goes, um, I will be doing, I might attempt the challenges, I don't know because I'm really terrible at challenge modes, I haven't even completed them on my, I haven't even completed them on my main file, but I'll be doing the challenge modes, there's an extra. Oh, okay. I might do the challenge mode because you can do the extra mode that it has in the game, which you'll see when we get to that point. Uh, I'll be playing all the mini games at least once, maybe twice if I really did have fun. And then um, I'll probably do a couple of videos on the extra adventure. But as far as a full playthrough, it kind of depends on how popular the series is overall. Like, if you guys really want a second adventure, I will go do the second adventure. But I have to have fan demand to want to do it. It's not because, you know, it's content. It's just I don't want to put out something that nobody's going to want to watch. Because I know that it'll probably be boring as hell. I just finished this game. And I'm already going back and be playing it again. Like... That just sounds like content farm on of itself, but if faint demand is there, that's a good enough reason for me to do it again. Anyway, let's go in here. I forgot to grab that red star, but that doesn't matter because it's just for next. It's just more stars for extra lives. Uh, I'm taking sword because I like sword one. It's easier to use. It's one I understand the most. I do like Tornado, just Swords, one that I use a lot more than I would Tornado. They never forget you can do that. Very useful ability. <laughs> Easy. Energy Spear is what they're called. Yeah, so the thing is that that Spear Doomer will drop those balls of matter into the water and they'll just explode on content, contact because for whatever reason stuff can't exist in the water in Kirby. Unless you're Kirby or it's like a food item. Go ahead and leave with our sword ability. I do like the design of Deluxe. Of Recurvy Run Deluxe, because, like, it just looks really cool with this filter on it. There's that, and the hat kind of looks like you can see the texture of the hat. Like, you can tell it's definitely been, like, it looks like it's, like, been made or, like, sewn or whatever. It's neat. Got the whip challenge. And, of course, we'll also be exploring Mary Mago Land. But as far as we're gonna saving all that for um, bonus content, and yes, I'll be covering the other modes that this does unlock. I put you unlock when you beat the main game. Because there's a couple of modes that you unlock when you beat the main game. One of them is a, a more of an endurance test, but it's also kind of a main staple for Kirby games. So up here you got a sword, two fish, and some food. Stars and a Mary Magdalene ticket. 
Yeah, because with the Wii version, there wouldn't be a Mary Magdalene ticket there, but I think everything else is pretty similar. Some enemies you, where you can get a sword enemy and uh, free food to cover your health. I was going to do this video with some face cam action because I've gotten a request to do some face cam, but I don't know what happened to my camera. So I might have to uh, see if I can get a brand new one. There's that, and I have to get, we'll have to have one for when I do my RPG videos because. Um, I do a lot of like recording in front of a camera as opposed to behind a computer screen when I do my some of my videos. Oh, they didn't replace the kaboom, the boom guy one, the crash is what it's called. They didn't replace crash. He's still in the game. Yeah, so crash usually is an instant KO. Uh, we're not going to swallow that guy. <laughs> what that guy does, I'll show off later because there is a dedicated thing for him. But Crash has a couple of things. So you saw the first one. But if we hold down and twirl the control stick, you get this phase, this state. Which is a more powerful version of Crash. But no matter what, it's going to be a one-hit kill whatever's on screen. Let's take the sand ability. I don't I haven't played with the sand ability much. Ice cream. Speaking of ice cream, I'm actually kind of actually going to craving some ice cream right now, but it's midnight and I am not able to drive myself right now. But I'm working on that right now. Mm -hmm. I'm to cut down on my swearing energy sphere. Yeah, I can't wait to get some videos out for you guys on coffee, making coffee exclusive ones. Like, they'll eventually come to YouTube, just it'll be after some time. I want to try to make a reason why to have coffee, not because I'm greedy. And even then, if I was really greedy, I would charge you guys a lot for my coffee, and I don't even do that. It's like between one and five dollars, and you get benefits either way. You get the same benefits either way, practically. I just don't remember what you get for the five dollar one, in addition to like uh, video shout outs. In every video, you get a shout out in every video as long as you're a coffee subscriber. And uh, you get access to all my content a month early and exclusive content. Uh, I think, like, what will happen is you can have like an option to get into polls for what I can do next, next game, for a video. Whether it be a Let's Play series or whether it be, uh, a video about a re for my review series of blowing up the cartridges or something. But uh, there's also another benefit to subscribing to my coffee, and that's uh, every month, while you're a member, I will be hosting giveaways. Because what I'm going to start doing is, is, once I get enough people who want to subscribe, Bastard. Uh, once I get enough people on board and everything, I'm gonna like host monthly raffles because I hire my mods. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. Spear. So I gotta get to show off spear ability. We'll show off bomb later. But spear you can use underwater, just like sword. Uh, Spear has a couple other abilities. I'll wait till I get out of the water to show it. But Spear has some. Uh, Spear is fun. So. Oh, 
these guys. Okay. But uh, yeah, I was I just want to have like a thing for your for raffles. The money that gets to be put into coffee will get will get towards that because I have channel mods, is what I call them, as my channel artists and my mods. Um, essentially, what happens is while they're part of the team, when we have our monthly raffle, uh, one of them will be calm by the uh, money of the coffee to pay for your raffle prize as a commission because that's seems fair to me to just pay them people to you know that way as opposed to paying them via mod because I can't really afford to do so there's that and I had talked to all of them about it before and they were all all for that idea so it's not like I forced the idea onto them. They were accepting of the idea. And as long as they're on board and happy with that, then I am. Okay, so we have a second shoe, thankfully. So one of the, I know we have to have a shoe for this section. Just gotta remember where? Right here. Is one of them. Gotta avoid the water with the shoe because it blows up instantly if it hits the water. Get the shoe in here because I think I need to take one in here. Uh, I don't actually, it's an underwater section. <laughs> here I am thinking I had to take something with me. So, that shoe reminds me of uh, Mario 3, actually, with the, uh, the Karibo shoe, because uh, there's an enemy in Mario that you can stomp, and when you stomp on him, you can take his shoe from him and bounce around in the shoe. Uh, I remember him from Mario 3, they also had a Mario Maker, I think I remember playing that game on the Wii U. That was, that was a really fun game. I got a sequel on the, uh, the Switch. I haven't played the sequel on Switch, but I think it was also just as well received. The thing in the Switch version was that they actually had the story mode. Not really a story mode, I mean, per se, but like a set of levels you can play through. And they added a bunch of neat stuff. Like, I never got a chance to play Mario Maker 2, but it... If it's as good as Mario Maker 1 was, because I enjoyed Mario Maker 1, it was fun. I didn't play a lot of the online modes, but I did think it was pretty cool. Watching, uh, I forget his name. I remember as I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember as soon as I get off of here, but I'm watching the one guy series where he's trying to go to like sixty nine four twenty levels beaten on Mario Maker two. He's really well known in the Mario in the Mario community. I wouldn't know because I don't really like hang out in communities like that or well I don't really hang out in communities. Uh, but I think he's also like probably like part of this might be like his part of speedrunners or something I don't know he's a really good Mario player and he does that series I do watch him once in a while love his stuff but um that's, that's how I really know about Mario 2 is watching those videos and there's a couple other but people I've seen play Mario 2 I just can't remember who they are Mario Maker 2 that's that's like it's, you know, a super important thing anyway. It's just looking for something to talk about, honestly. You know, as I look in, one of, in uh, the World of these cart there. Oh, we got copy ability, copy ability room too. If I look in his cart there, that little thing behind the Kirby mask kind of looks like the bomb mask from Majora's Mask. I know it's not the bomb mask. It's actually like the bomb thing, which we'll be seeing in a later level. But it reminds me of the bomb, of the bomb mask, the 
Yeah, the bomb mask from Garth's mask. That's another game I haven't played in a little while. I think I might have just missed out on something there, but if we did, we'll go back and figure it out. Stupid bats. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I guess it helps if you read the abilities on the copy, the copy abilities in the uh, pause menu. As I was like working today, oh, I definitely missed something up there. Um, I'm gonna restart and go back and get that. I don't know what it was, but I can't be too certain I missed on something, you know, something great there. I don't think it's an energy spear, because I know, like I said before, I've beaten this game, and there's nothing up there, I was worried about nothing. But I've beaten this game before, a couple of times. I don't think it's an energy spear, but I can't leave any stone unturned. Yeah, it's nothing. But I'm still gonna get it, though. Oh, it's a hammer ability! I'm kind of glad I went back now, because I love the hammer. It's just not very fun when you're playing as King DDD and you only have the hammer and you have to fight Queen Sectornia with the hammer. Oh man, fuck that. If anyone's ever beat the DDD tour, they'll understand what I'm talking about with that. I don't want to talk a lot about the uh, the, uh, the Kirby Triple Deluxe DDD Tour, but that was one of my first times I've ever really actually played through and beaten the extra story mode for Kirby. And I gotta say, it was not worth it. <laughs> like, I did have a, f have a fun time, but one thing that really, really killed the fun for me, aside from having to fight Sectorony with nothing but the hammer, which actually isn't that bad. Like, yeah, it's tedious. But it's actually not really terrible. Terribly hard. I mean, you can do it with just Kirby, too. But um, the thing is, is that there is a section in the game. Because when you play through the DDD, the DDD tour, you have to play through the entirety of the game that you just played with Kirby. And your only copy ability you have available to you is the, uh, the hammer. Well, there is one section in the main game that you play through with Kirby where a bunch of bosses spawn in. And when you play as Kirby, you get the hypernova ability for this section, making it really easy. And, uh... DDD can't have the hypernova, so when you go to this section to fight these bosses, you have to go through every single boss there is. Okay. This section. This is the annoying thing about Onion Ocean. They show you two paths with two different bombs. The stars guide you to what path you're supposed to take. But I think on one of them, the stars lie. I'm gonna trust my gut that I got the right path. Oh, I got the wrong path. So if you take the beam, you can get both paths opened up. So I think I'm going to start doing from this point forward is take the beam and if I can get another beam ability I'm going to take it and then take the path, take all the, open up all the paths. That way if I end up going to the wrong one by mistake I can just get back to the right one. We're not taking the uh, the water. Those guys don't give us abilities, even though they look like they probably would. 
Uh, these guys here. I do like that sound that the hammer makes when you're beating up guys too. <laughs> okay, we have a boss fight here. It is Bondo or Moundo. So yeah, if I don't get all the spears here in uh, this first run of Onion Ocean, I'm gonna grab the beam and come back and do this level. Okay, so Mondo can't be hurt when he's spinning. Take the rocket buddies, we're gonna need it. It's like Metal Mario can float. No. I forget what it's called. It's that Metal Mario star from Dire Dire Docks. We gotta do that. Oh, it's the star in the whirlpool. Metal Mario can walk is what the star is called. In a different level, but the one I was thinking of was the star in the whirlpool in Dire Dire Talks. Because you need a Mario, you need uh, Metal Mario to do it. Sorry, I'm just dumb. Okay, so three paths. The middle one has the spear. Okay, so I do not know which path to take. I want to save the middle, but I know the middle is probably wrong. Just in the off chance, I'm going to take this one. Yep, yeah, that was wrong. Well, looks like we'll go back to this level again, guys. If I could figure out what's right to do, then I'll start doing that from there on. I don't know how the f I keep fucking up this. I don't remember which path I need to go. I might just look up a guide and do it again. That way I get it right this time. Because I seriously don't know how and don't know which path to take. It's been so long. Because back when I used to do this, I didn't want to, I would I wanted to do the game without a guide. So I had to uh, pretty much keep playing and second guess and guessing everything over and over until I got the correct one. And then when I played through it again this last recent time, I decided to look up a guide. That way I didn't have to meticulously keep replaying and Yes, you know. Okay, so we have the, the super flare. Super flame ability. Okay, let's... Oh, these guys, okay. So when these guys are like that, they can't be hurt. When they do this... They drop their jaws on top. They drop their chop. Yeah, they drop their top jaw onto their bottom and shatter all of their teeth. And then they destroy themselves that way. Okay. Here I come. So since he was off screen, doesn't count. this on instead. Some free fruit for that. I'm supposed to normally go underneath that top, uh, the, uh, bottom half, I think. And let them uh, open up on top of you like that.
Here we go. We gotta fry this octopus. And you get to access this area. So they put two Spear Doomer guys in Onion Ocean. I think there's two of them in the Raisin Ruin. Uh, Raisin. Yeah, Raisin Ruins. And, uh, Cookie Country as well. But I can't remember. Not a big deal either. Anyway, I do either either way. I mean, I do really enjoy these levels. But I remember playing through this game again when I got my when I had my Wii U, because I had uh, they offered the ability to download some Wii games to the system. Like you could buy Return to Dreamland for it because. None of the stores had it, and at this time I didn't really shop on Amazon all that much. And the Walmart Online didn't have it. Which reminds me of this one time when I was on uh, with Walmart Online, but I'll get back to that in a second. But Walmart Online didn't have it. So I really, really, really wanted to play the game, but I didn't have a way originally. But then I found it on the Wii, Wii U store one day, and I bought it. And what really s was really cool about the Wii U was that I was able to play Return to Dreamland. It's like I was able to get Punch Out for the Wii and play on my Wii U. But what was upsetting to me, or what, what really sucked, was is that with those games you couldn't use the gamepad to play them. Like you could use the gamepad as a screen to play them, but you couldn't use the gamepad itself to play them. And that's one of the reasons why the Wii U failed, at, in my opinion. Like, the Wii U was a decent console if it wasn't for a couple of glaring flaws. Like, the fact that it took the gamepad to do anything in just about every game that was on the library. Lost my spear ability, but that's okay, we're gonna get this. So the gamepad was required, and what was really stupid was is that you couldn't have multiple gamepads to one console. You had to have one gamepad at a time. And, like I said, the gamepad was required to do anything on the Wii U, except... There was a, maybe an exception that you didn't really have to have a gamepad all the time. But some games did require to have it to play. Like Nintendo Land. It was a fun, fun game. I did like Nintendo Land. I remember playing that with my younger sister, and we were playing the Pikmin game, and we got to the end, and my younger sister jumps into sh all of our ship and leaves me behind. And I'm like, you left me behind! And she laughed about that for like a week straight. Alright, so let me look up a thing here for Onion Ocean Stage 3. One stupid phone. Wow, I guess it's such a really searched up thing because it was one of my search suggestions. Okay. Three, two. phone I get tired of this thing okay three three if you click the first spear head right and go through the door well only one of these cards are taking the spear and it's the one on the far right okay so when we get to that point it's gonna be the far right um I might cut this out in editing so I'm just gonna be quiet for this part here all right, so we're back here. It's the uh, 4450. So yeah, if you guys just saw that, I jumped kind of to here because I wasn't gonna make you sit through all that again. So they say it's the far right. Let's see if they're telling the truth here. Okay, 
looking promising. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm going to cut again to uh, the ending of this level. So see you guys in just a second. Alright, hey, we got first. Oh, no, I'm on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry about having to do those cuts there, guys. Just, I think all the new spears there have unlocked Big Catcher. I'm gonna take another really quick break here. I'm gonna grab something to drink. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore these stars. I'm gonna ignore this one because I don't want to keep like, fighting those guys. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, stars aren't a requirement, they're just there if you want extra lives. This big structure here raises when you flip that switch. It's going down to the bottom here. Yeah, I had a pretty decent day today. Uh, I hope that you guys had a pretty good day today too. Uh, from here. Power up power up from the donut. I'm gonna hang on to this parasol for at least a little bit. 
So I'm not sure if any of you guys like use Discord like I do. But uh I was on my or in one of my servers I'm part of. Uh one of the members there sent a warning about using the uh embed domain for uh when you put in because there's a thing for like fx and dx for twitter and there's a thing where if you put in the dom if you use that to make the domain for embedding for deviant deviant art deviant art i don't know how it's pronounced uh if you do it for one of those for that site i should say uh, it's actually like malware, so if you embed the link, don't click on it because you're going to infect your computer with a bunch of crap. I just wanted to pass the message on because I saw it in a Discord and I figured everybody would you know want to know in case it's not been spread around already. Pretty sure it's what I mean, you know, my father's what it said. Just the that link, and thankfully, nothing that none of those kind of links have been sent with within that server. So, everyone's safe, but this is just something I wanted to throw out there for warning for everyone else in the off chance. It's better safe than sorry. Hey, free <laughs> That was such a weird thing right there, yeah. Here I am talking about being safe and sorry, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll shoot some pancakes. Pancakes, I'm pretty great about that too. Pancakes and ice cream. Two things are kind of creeping pretty badly, I don't know why. <laughs> Go to this door here. That doesn't feel right. We get an invincibility lollipop. But what's weird is that there's a door there, but there's no door. Haha! <laughs> yeah, it took me a little while. I actually had to, uh, I think I broke down and looked up a guide for that one in particular. Not really a guide, I think I watched through, uh, I was playing Return to Dreamland around the same time I was watching the Runaway Guys play the game. And, uh, I saw that one on there and I'm like, huh? And at first I thought they were just fucking with me and I went back and tried it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it worked. And I, yeah, like they would screw with me like that. Screw this like that, just make up a lot of sense, something like there, right there, you know? But, yeah, I, I just never even knew that was there. I had to actually, like, Go back. I had to actually watch that video in order to find that one. I wonder if we're going to fight another Spear Doomer in this level or not. Because we have three left. And most generally, there's always, there's usually always going to be a Spear Doomer when there's... Two left. There's going to be a part where there's going to be two left. Usually there's a Spear Doomer in those kind of parts. I don't really know how to describe it, I guess. We trade sword for spear. Alright, let's swim away from this thing. Screw you. That's fine, I don't need anything. I don't need the spear for anything, I don't think. So behind this Gordo is some grapes. Gordo guard grapes. Gordo guard grapes in the middle of the level jungle gates. Speaking of jungle gates, I think that's a level or a stage in Super Smash Bros. If I'm not mistaken. So I think I can swim behind this without any kind of risk missing anything. Yeah, it just makes it easier to get through here and it's required for that part there. Solid wall.
Free speed day. Hell yeah, free speed. Okay, I think we're approaching the end of the level, unless we got to go to the hunt to find each of these individually. Take this path for the beam. Screw you. Oh, there's the bomb I was talking about earlier. With the Majora's Mask thing. One of these. All that for a Magalane ticket? And a one off, I guess. You're gonna wanna haul ass for these. You hold this palm at least. Okay, so there's not a Spirit Doomer in this level. Thankfully I screwed up, but I got a uh, maximum tomato to make up for that. Okay, there's one more spear. Wonder how we're gonna get it. It's already almost an hour, so that's before editing, of course. I think I might just do all of Onion Ocean and then save the next area for the next level. But I will be showing off the copy ability room, that way I don't forget about actually doing that. So we're going to finish this, go to the copy room, and then we're going to end the level, or end the, end the video there. Grab the Magaland ticket. Remember those eel guys also, there's a version of the eel guys in uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. One of my favorite sex. No, it's not these guys. They are eels, but they're not like these ones. I'm glad that you could be there. But, uh, reminds me of that level in Kirby Triple Deluxe where, uh, there's a bunch of these, like, pink eel guys. And they, like, have these star shaped tongues. And you have to use the, uh, supernova to suck them out of the pipe. Like I said, Triple Deluxe, that was one of my favorite games in the series. Triple Deluxe, Return to Dreamland, and Planet Robobot are all really great games. Kirby 64 is also a really, really fun title. If you haven't played Kirby 64, you are definitely missing out. I forget who the boss of Onion Ocean is. Cause I know of one boss, I just don't think it's him yet. Oh wait, I think I'm in- no, it's not that boss either. Cause there's one boss in every Kirby game, aside from Wispy Woods. The high jump challenge. It's not that. <laughs> but um, boss Kirby, well Trouble Deluxe, they only have like two of them I remember that are in every Kirby game. Which are Wispy Woods and, uh... I won't spoil the other one. So we can have Mecha, Umbrella, Spear, or Snow for this one. We're gonna take Mecha. My favorite one. I love the robot aesthetic. Robots are cool. Say so robots and dragons and swords are some of my favorite things. Freaking hand! Okay, it's this thing. Daddy Puffer. When he does that, he's gonna charge across the room. It is gonna charge across the room. So 
Well, this thing isn't all that terribly hard. It's a bit of a step up and challenge from Wispy Woods. Because Wispy Woods just stands there and takes it. Whereas this guy just tells you straight up, I'm not going to deal with your crap today. <laughs> Ready. We got the left wing. I like the little Anthony has the robot hands. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and drop off this wing here at the uh, Four Star Cutter. I think we have left is the hull and the mast. So the wing is going to attach itself. Bing. Ooh. Looking good already. This sinks back in. See, that's what got me is like it just floats, but then he just sits back. <laughs> Welcome back, Kirby. The left wing back in place, the wings are finally complete. Finally looking like a real star cutter again. When we can find the last two parts, the lore will be flying again in no time. Keep at it, Kirby, I believe in you. I need somebody to use. Alright, so we got 15. 35. We got 20 more before we get the next copy buddy. Okay, so here's how the copy rooms work. As you go in and you're going to have a list down here of copies that you can have. So right here we have the cutter, the grass, spiny, or spike, flame, and sword. And up here we have this dummy. Dummy, yeah, yeah. Uh, you could just beat the hell out of this dummy all you want. It ain't gonna uh, destroy it or hurt it any. And if it, if it does blow up, it just respawns. It's kind of like an, uh, what's it called? Kirby the Forgotten Land. Uh, where the dummy and the, uh, power-ups area can be destroyed when you beat up enough. But... It'll always come back. Let's show off the power ups you get in here. So we got Cutter, we got Leaf, we got Spike, Flame, and Sword. And you could just Come back in here anytime that you want a free power up. You can come in here, grab one, and leave. No penalties, no costs. And then here we have the same exact kind of setup. We got umbrella, whip, sand, beam, and spark. And then a dummy. You can just go up here and beat. Oh. And it, you can do this with any ability. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, hope you guys join me in the next episode when we take on the next world. Which I believe is... Yeah, we're gonna just gonna see what the next world's called and then we're gonna end the video there. I'm not actually gonna do it the next one. It's getting late and it's already like... Already over an hour. White wafers. See you guys then.